what's up youtube in this video i'm gonna show you guys how you can rank your um pins on pinterest number one in literally 24 hours guys so i want you guys to stick with me in this video i'm gonna be going going into a lot of details about pinterest seo so just stick with me in the video you're gonna learn a lot so um yeah before i get started with the video if you like to see more videos like this one just head down below this video give the video a like hit the subscribe button and also tick the notifications bell icon so that you get to get notified each time i drop awesome videos like this one because i do that on a regular basis guys so um, with that said i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um 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 what you should do to rank on on on, on pinterest so basically first of all we want to go and open um a document whether you're using um um microsoft word or whatever um just open up a document but i'm gonna use google docs so now that I have my Google Docs open, you want to first of all um, type here, title, you want to type title, hit that, give a space, type um, description, yeah, so description, yeah, so, uh, okay, so once you're done, um, you have to bold out this one, make it bold, and uh, make this one bold as well, and I'm going to show you exactly how you can do this step by step so you just have to follow me with what i'm doing so you have to head back to pinterest and find the keyword you want to rank for guys that's the most important thing guys you have to know how to do your keyword research well on pinterest guys and if you're a new account like this my account this is my pinterest account right here it has like 700 followers on it and i have 2.4 thousand um 2000 like 2400 monthly viewers and i'm not really consistent with that but i used to have a lot more but i'm not really consistent this is a work that i put in in in, in past times guys so uh yeah so uh basically um the first thing you have to do is your keyword research guys so for this video we're gonna be going for how to lose how to lose weight weight so search for how to lose weight i want to give a space okay so i think i have to reload pinterest there's actually an issue let me reload pinterest guys okay so um now that i'm here let's say we want to go for the keyword um how to lose lose okay uh how to lose weight okay so what you're gonna see you want to type how to lose weight you want to give space and what you're going to see is there are a bunch of keywords um people searching for how to lose weight in a week 10 pounds how to lose weight in a month 30 days how to lose weight in a week at home how to lose weight if you're over 200 pounds how to lose weight as a 12 year old how to lose weight in a month 10 pounds how to lose weight quickly clean eating how to lose weight in a week for kids so guys what's going to happen is that let me show you guys something if we search for just how to lose weight you're gonna see let me open up um this person's pinterest account i think uh yeah let me open up this pinterest here let's look at um the account of the the person that's ranking now you can see this person is extremely popular he has 1.4 million monthly viewers guys and it's gonna be hard for you to beat these the kind of people that rank for these kind of keywords simply because Simply because these guys have a bunch of followers on their on their Pinterest profile, and each time they post something, they get a lot of engagement, and that's gonna help them rank. So, guys, what you wanna do is instead of going to rank for um um how to lose weight, you wanna extend it. You wanna give the space and go for one of these keywords, guys. Have to go for long tail keywords, guys. So when people search for how to lose weight in a week 10 pounds um you can see the people that are here um this one says how to lose weight 7 to 10 pounds in a week yeah so um and these kind of people are really most times they are easy to beat compared to the other guys so let's check out okay this one is even um a popular person but that keyword you're gonna have a higher chance of ranking for um um uh, long tail keywords here on Pinterest guys. So the first thing is we have to find a keyword and if if you um, um, Take this one one step further. You're gonna see it, it, it even has um, Tips and diets. So we have to find a keyword first of all. So um, let's go. Let's say 
we want to rank for how to lose weight in a week, 10 pounds. So we take that keyword, put it in the title, and then we want to um, come here to the description and also um, place it right there. So um, you want to go back here and um, what you want to do now is um, you want to just um, go here that it says how to lose weight, how to lose weight, search for how to lose weight and um, you want to get like um, these extensions here, like you can see we already have how to lose weight here, as you can see we already have how to lose weight so we're gonna just get these these ones that are in black here in a month 30 day so in a month 30 day okay we want to go for um something like this in a week at home in a week at home and um we want to hit the space again if you're over 200 LBS, okay, if you're over 200 LBS, uh, IBS, whatever that is. Okay, so um, yeah, you, you want to press the space again. And as a 12-year-old in a month, 10 pounds, I say 12-year-old. In a month, 12 pounds. Uh, okay, you want to give space again. And um, you want to go and extend this right here. Quickly clean eating in a week for kids. Okay, um, quickly clean eating in a week for kids. And guys, once you've done this now, what this is going to help you do is that Number one, you're gonna rank for this keyword. You're gonna rank for this keyword. You're gonna rank for these keywords, all these keywords right here. But basically, the primary one you're gonna rank for is this one here. You're gonna rank very high for this one, but on these other ones, you're gonna be like um number five um or or or, or lesser. So what you want to do now is you want to write content around these keywords. You want to make it look natural so that Pinterest does not think you're trying to game them by putting a bunch of keywords in your um, pin description. So what you want to do is you want to be like, um, I want to bring this one, maybe um, this one that says, okay, let me bring this down here. You want to bring, uh, okay, like this keyword that says if you're over 200 LBS, you want to be like, um, you want to start with if you're over 200 LBS and is someone that is desperately, desperately looking to learn how to lose, then you can bring in this one there, uh, looking to learn how to lose weight in a week up to up to 10 pounds or even you want to put this one in a month then you want to put like bracket uh maybe in a 30 day span of time then this article this article is just the ideal thing that uh, that you really need to go with. So guys, I, I want you guys to watch me do this. So that to watch me do this so that you guys are gonna see how I'm doing it and how you can actually do the same to to start seeing results fast with your Pinterest SEO. So uh, okay, so um, you wanna copy this keyword and um, remove it from there. And you want to come down here and be like, um, okay, um, let's say um, if, uh, okay, you want to be like the methods that I teach has even worked in a week for people. Okay, uh, okay, uh, be like, um, and you can do this 
at home. And what makes this whole thing um, great is that you can do it and see results even as a 12 year old guys so you can see i am naturally putting in all those keywords inside my description guys uh okay so uh just let me finish and show you guys what's next okay uh so if, even as a 12 year old uh so um all you will need to do will be to follow um my strategy and i can almost guarantee you that in a that in a month you would be able to lose way more than 12 pounds okay so uh yeah that's that this all looks natural so what you want to do is you want to bring in um these this last keyword okay so um uh you want to be like um This is not one of those um, methods that take that take you a lot of time to do. You can start seeing results um, with quickly clean it in in a few in a in a week and this method of weight loss also works well for kids okay guys so you can you guys have watched me um putting all the keywords that i got from pinterest um inside the description and now what you want to do now is you want to make your your title look natural because if you just put the exact keyword that people are searching for if you make it your pin title pinterest is going to know that you're trying to do something sketchy and they're not going to give you um a lot of advantage so what you want to do is like um make this how okay how to lose how to lose um maybe bracket 10 pounds how to lose 10 pounds of weight ten pounds of weight in in just just a week okay so this is a good title and now you can see I still have the keyword that we're trying to rank for inside here but it's natural now guys so naturally we're gonna rank so what you want to do is you now want to head over to pinterest you want to head over to pinterest you want to um go to create pin go to create pin and um you want to take this thing right here how to lose weight in in um in a week so you want to add that to your title and then description tell everyone what your pin is about you want to copy the description want to copy your pin description here want to head back to here paste it here and have it there and guys there's one thing that most people seem to do okay 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 what we wrote is actually longer than what um, um pinterest wants us wants us to write so we're gonna have to come down on how many keywords we're going for okay 
let's stop here and follow my strategy so uh, yeah once you're done with that uh, as long as you still have your seed keyword which is how to lose weight in um a 10 pounds in a week in the description and here other keywords are just supplementary keywords that are going to give you relevancy guys so one mistake that i see that uh, most people make is that they while adding their, their their destination link they do not have the keyword they're trying to rank for in their destination link guys and i'm going to show you guys something inside my wordpress dashboard right away i'm going to show you guys something inside my wordpress dashboard right away so when you head inside wordpress there's something that we call pretty links so you can simply head over to plugins you can simply head over to plugins um click on add new and um, click on search plugins and search for and uh, and search for a uh, pretty pretty links search for pretty links okay so um i already have it installed but if you don't have it installed you're gonna see this install this install now button you click on install and then click on activate so once you install it it's gonna be here so you can see it here it says pretty links so what you want to do is you want to click on pretty links um yeah let me just say yes no, i'm just gonna cancel that okay so um what you want to do is you want to let's say this is the 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 article that you're trying to rank um that they're trying to get traffic to how to lose weight okay let me find an article guys okay let me say this is the article you're trying to send traffic to um um how to lose weight fast three simple steps Guys, if you just take this this URL right now and go to Pinterest and put it right here that it says add destination on link, guys, you're not going to rank as high as you're gonna wanna rank because you do not have this keyword, this keyword here in your link URL. What Pinterest wants is to send people to articles that they are looking for. And guys, you have to tell Pinterest that this particular article is about this particular topic, guys. Because Quite all right, the, the, the link here, this link has how to lose weight inside of it. It, um, it has how to, how to lose weight, but it does not have the 10 week, um, the 10 pounds in one week stuff. So that is where pretty links come in, guys. So if you want to rank for a keyword on Pinterest, you simply copy the root um, uh, link. You copy the link, the root link of the article you want to ra uh, rank, get traffic to. You head over to pretty links. Click on add new here. Click on add new pretty link. And um, it's going to show you this place. Uh, let me just close this again. Then you simply just add a title. Say, um, then maybe let's make it the keyword that we're trying to rank for. Um, how to lose weight uh, 10 pounds. 10 pounds in one week. One week. So we want to paste the target url the url to the main article we're trying to rank but here we want to um make pretty links to have um the keyword we're trying to rank for which is this keyword right here so let me just head back to pinterest and get the real keyword because i think i've forgotten it so okay so here is the keyword so open link a new tab let me get the keyword okay this is the keyword we're trying to rank for here so you simply head back to pretty links and uh, you paste the keyword here and then um, click on update click on update okay so now what's gonna happen is that you're gonna have a URL let me copy um, this this URL if you paste it here you're gonna see that it has the keyword how to lose weight in in um a week guys um it says 10 pounds also guys um i think we made a mistake i uh, sorry for the mistake but you you have to watch out for that let me delete okay no let me just edit this link let me click on edit and show you the mistake that i made so let me close this again i didn't put um um this um hyphen right here so you have to put this to make your link look good so it does not have all the 20 percent uh, and all that so Okay, so um, so let's put all that, guys. And um, what you're gonna notice is that um, if we click on update, we click on update. Okay, we're gonna have the link updated. So we simply copy the link again, 
and let me head over to this point you're gonna see that this one has how um percent 20 to percent 20 lose percent 20 weight so we don't want that we simply want the neat url that says how to lose weight you can see it has our keyword now and what that is going to do to pin to the pinterest algorithm is that is going to tell the pinterest algorithm that our article is about that exact key um keyword that we're trying to rank for and that's going to give us an advantage over our competitors because our competitors would just take um their 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 pinterest url as in the normal how to lose weight and put it right here they don't have the um um the 10 pounds keyword they don't have the um a week in just a week keyword they just have how to lose weight inside their um link url so it really matters and um once you've done that what there's one more thing that's gonna help you rank higher guys let me show you guys so um let me search for how to lose okay now you can see this person has weeks in their in their image this, this is something that most people seem to overlook about pinterest but pinterest can really do that guys technology is high now there is artificial intelligence and pinterest has image recognition robots that can that can easily read what you say in your images so you want to make sure you have the keyword how to lose weight in weeks you can see this person is ranking number one because she has the weeks keyword in her picture and um, Pinterest has robots that can actually detect what your pictures are saying, guys. So, and as you notice, this one here has weeks too. Down here, she has weeks. Let me open up her Pinterest pin. You can see it says weeks in less than two weeks. Let me open up the guy and uh, the person that's ranking number one. You can see she has weeks in her uh, Pinterest picture. Uh, and um, yeah, this person has weeks too. Um, this one has week in one week. Yeah, so those are things that actually come into Pinterest ranking. So guys, once you 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 have um sorry, once you have the keyword in your pin pin title here, once you have the keyword in your pin title, in your um pin description and in your um pin link you and have it in your um keywords in your pin image, there is no way you are going you are not going to rank. And guys, Remember, you have to start with long tail keywords so that when you start getting um, people noticing your Pinterest account and following you, you can then get the velocity you are going to need, the velocity you are going to need to be able to, to, to actually um, rank for high search term keywords. And guys, that's how you rank on Pinterest. So you have to pay attention to the title, keywords in the description, keywords in the link, and keywords in the images, guys. These are simple things that most people make a course and try to sell to you for, for like um, um $200 and above. Uh, but guys, I'm giving it away for free on my channel. So if you really like the video, if the video really helped you out, please give me a like, drop a comment. If you have any questions, ask me and also subscribe to my channel because I put out internet marketing videos like this one on a regular basis. And guys, with that said, I'm going to give this video a bye-bye. And if you want to watch more of my videos, I'm going to put them up in the screen right away uh yeah so with that said i'm gonna hop right, right out of this video i'm gonna see you guys in my next videos guys it's your boy daniel here peace out